Hello all, this is Dr. Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar for latest tech videos on unboxings, server administration, embedded systems, cloud computing, simulations, big data, Linux administration, research methodology, ethical hacking and many more. Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Fedora Server on Oracle VirtualBox. Now before we dive in the installation part of Fedora Server 27 on Oracle VirtualBox, let us first of all understand a brief about Fedora and brief about Fedora Server. Fedora, formerly Fedora Core, is Unix-like operating system based on the Linux kernel and JNU programs developed by the community-supported Fedora project and sponsored by the Red Hat company. Fedora contains software distributed under various free and open source licenses and aims to be on the leading edge of such technologies. Fedora is the upstream source of the commercial Red Hat Enterprise Linux distribution. Since the release of Fedora 21, three different editions are available, Workstation focused on personal computer, server and cloud for servers and Atomic being the ed edition meant for cloud computing. Till date, Fedora has estimated about 2 million users including Linus Torvalds, creator of Linux kernel. Now if we talk something about the Fedora server, you can say that Fedora server is one of the most popular server which is targeted for servers. It includes the latest data center technologies and addition doesn't come with a desktop environment and can be installed at later stages. But in this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Fedora and how to have the cockpit based installation on the web interface of Fedora server. Now what is cockpit? Cockpit is known as the easy and powerful modern interface, the front-end web-based UI for view and monitor system performance and status and deploy and manage container-based services. Now you can see on the official website, you can see getfedora.org slash en slash server. Now if you click on download now, you'll find a new website is opening. Now over here you can find that there is a 64-bit edition version of 2.3 image. So only Fedora server comes with 64-bit edition, so make it sure of that. Now if you click on download, you will see that the download will automatically start, but as I've already downloaded the Fedora server, so I will skip it. So I click on cancel, and now let us start Oracle VirtualBox, and now let us go with the Fedora machine deployment. So let me explain everything in detail. And let me tell you that if you follow steps, there will be no worries of any problems which you will counter during any installation of Fedora server when you will implement on your own end. So let's click on new, type Fedora server 27, which we'll be using. So the type will be Linux and version will be Fedora 64 bit. So click on next. And now I allocate at least 2 GB of RAM, but if it is a server, you can allocate more than 2 GB, 3 GB, 4 GB or 8 GB, depending on the RAM of your system, but 2 GB should be minimum. So click on next, click on create, click on next, next. And now I allocate 20 GB of hard disk five space to Fedora server 27. So click on create. And now let us go over some settings. So make it sure whatever settings I'm going to do, make it sure that you do it. Otherwise, there could be some problem which you can encounter when accessing the front end graphical interface for accessing the cockpit edition of Fedora server. Now click on advanced and click on bi-directional on shared clipboard and bi-directional on drag and drop. So click on system. So let's uh, close the floppy disk and let's go with the hard disk drive on the above. You can see I have set it up. So click on processor and I go with two CPUs and I enable the PAE oblique NX. And now we go to storage. So I click on empty and I browse with the Fedora server DVD, which is 27. So you can see click on open and now I go with audio. If you require it, you can enable, but otherwise it is okay. So under the network, make it sure that you click on the bridge network. So as I'm using the wireless card, so I will bridge it so that I can be able to access the graphical interface of Fedora server on my host machine. So I click on okay. And now it is all set. So let's fire the operating system. So let's close this. And now you can see that Fedora has started installing. So you can see there are three options, install Fedora 27, test this media and install Fedora 27 and troubleshooting. So no need to test the media, just go for the first option, install Fedora 27 and press enter. So in a few moments of time, we will be greeted with the front end GUI in which we will be using some graphical options to install Fedora Server 27. So you can see that it has started booting. 
okay so now let's go with the installation part so it is saying starting installer one moment so you can see that the mouse has booted and uh, very soon we will be greeted with the opening interface so you can see that it is saying welcome to Fedora 27 so let's go with the English part so here we have the English so we can take the English as United States only so click on continue so over here we have the list of keyboards time etc so what we have to do is to just go with automatic selection of partitioning and just click on done so that it should be saving the storage and no need to change any other option unless or until you are having some other date and time otherwise it will be detected so I click on begin installation so here what we have to do is to click over here the root password and just set the root password which is very important so no need to worry of any weak password you can just change it so I create one more user of my name so I take the username as Anand and password as my name itself so I just click on done so you can see that the root password is set as well as a user creation set and installation has started firing up and it contains only 576 files so I can say that it is not taking very much longer time it can only take to 10 to 12 minutes to install the entire server to bring it to the command user interface and then we will be using the IP address of the machine to go with the cockpit based administration on our host machine so till it installs let us pause the video for some time So now you can see that almost all the files are over with the copying so about 573 files out of 576 are copied so now it is configuring the glibc libraries and the language packs and in few moments of time we will be greeted with the command user interface and then we go to the host machine and I will tell you how to use which port in order to start with your cockpit administration so you can see over here the cockpit browse to HTTPS your server IP colon 9090 to access the cockpit admin interface in Fedora server so cockpit is a front-end tool where you can manage all this uh, all this server and uh, it will be also having terminal and you can even deploy the updates of uh, Fedora 27 from that so no need to worry for the updations so now you can see that it is configuring the kernel core and almost at the ends of configuring Fedora server so now you can see that it is configuring the manual as well as other things which are being deployed so almost we are on the end to complete the installation of Fedora so the installation time can take between 10 to 15 minutes so grab a coffee and enjoy so one more website which I would like to you to aware that is join.fedoraproject.org which is uh, over there you can uh, easily join the forums and you can uh, contribute your code over there so it is verifying all the command all the packages you can see so it will take not much time and yes it is done now we are installing the bootloader that is the grub bootloader so now it is finishing the configuring the install system creating the users generating initramfs that is the file system now you can see that fedora is successfully installed and it is asking for us to reboot so click on reboot and after that it will be only greeting us with the command user interface for the cockpit we have to go with the main interface so let's have the IP address and then we go to the Windows machine for accessing the front-end cockpit so make it sure when you open the IP address I will tell you how to open the IP address so let's wait for completion of boot oh yes now you can see that admin console https 192.168.1.7 colon 1990 so let's go with the, the root login so I type root and I give my password and root has been logged in so let's go with the IP address of this machine and let's log in over there at root so I open the web browser of Chrome of my host machine so https 
is a port number. So the, you can see that your connection is not private, so go for it, advanced, and proceed to 192.168.1.7. So no need to worry. And yes, everyone, we can see that Fedora Server Edition has been there. So let's log in with root, and here's the password. So this is known as the cockpit administration of uh, Fedora 27. So let's first of all change the host name. So let me write with the host name that is Anandlab dot local so let's change the host name so click on change so you can see that the host name is changed and now let us go with software updates click on software updates it will grab some uh, package information it will take some time So almost it has done with crawling. Let's wait for the package information which is being required over here. So all the packages will be updated with just a single click. And it is recommended that you should update all the packages before you start working on it. So now you can see that cockpit itself will be updated. When you disconnect it, the updates will continue in, in foreground. So all these updates are there. So what you have to do is to just click on install all updates, which include the main updates as well as the security updates. So I click on install all updates. So now depending on your net connection, everything will be updated. So everything will be logged out and it will also record in the log server also. So since it will take some time, I just pause the video for some time and once it is completed, I will return back to video. So you can see that all the scripts, grub, and even the cockpit itself will be updated. It is updating. So now you can see that it is disconnected and server has closed the connection, so we have to reconnect it. So we go with another root connection. Because it is already updated now, so you can see that it is applying the updates. And uh, it is greeted with a more comprehensive interface after the updates. So let's wait for initialization. So now you can see that it is saying restart recommended updated packages may require a restart to take effect. So what we have to do is to restart the server. So restart now. So server will be restarted and reconnected. So you can see that the server Fedora is rebooting. So now you can see that the server has rebooted. So let's log in over here. Okay. So let's go to the panel and let's go for reconnection and let's reconnect and yes now you can see that everything has been done everything is being updated now we are all set and ready to work on Fedora server so all the system is updated so all the packages which is updated you can see over here so lots of updates were there so let's go with the dashboard now click on system you can see that it says the performance of CPU memory disk IO network traffic so if you click on network traffic so everything whatever you are doing if you want to add bridge add VLAN everything can be done over here if you go with logs so all the logs will be there storage system it will be showing about all the storage what is all about what is going on how the storage is being done and here is the networking now if you add one of the accounts if you want to add your own account or you want to update the password you can add everything over here and here are the applications so if you refresh over here so it is checking for new application if it is there you can go for it otherwise it is no need so click on terminal you can find that uh, you can run all the commands which you run over here on this so same commands can be done so in this video I have demonstrated how to install Fedora 27 how to update it what are its dashboard options system log storage networking and all about so do give this a shot do comment and like this video and do give me your suggestions what next videos can be developed on Fedora and uh, do give me the comments how you have deployed or any other problem which you are facing in this deployment in the real world I will be surely getting back to off thank you so much for watching thank you all